you want, you know? Oh yeah, the absolutely. Original. Actually, I don't. Was he the original Mordex or was he? I mean, nice recovery there. Uh, both players kind of looking a little, a uh, little damaged here, but Sandstorm up more. Nice recovery there. Still not enough to knock out. Going to send Guiku off the screen. Neutral light. Not gonna touch. I don't think. Oh, he think no. Guiku did actually. No, oh. No. Oh. 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 What? Okay. Okay. You know what? It, it, it was. But now Guiku on the attack and a whiff on that. And, oh. A little bit of a deficit here for Guichu, but Sandstorm going to capitalize on that with recovery. Catches him with a nair coming back up on stage. Guichibu, though, is going to go ahead and put his feet back on stage. This is back and forth between these guys. Like, but Guichibu nice there. smacks him out of the air. He keeps Sandstorm scarf here. Sandstorm trying to get on that weapon, couldn't do it. Guichibu going to go ahead and pick him up with the signature. Back down the ground. Oh, Sandstorm can't get on a weapon. Guichibu, oh, very nice. Sandstorm just to the frame. Guichibu diving in there, throws the guitars away. Yeah, oh, there it is. Getting, uh, honestly, those, those predictions are, they're starting to sweat a little bit. Grounded delay to recovery. Beautiful. Nice. Can't get them now. Guichibu, I, I, I kind of know him for just being explosive and being aggressive, and he's doing a really good job in, you know, reserving that. Oh, he's charged it, trying to get a easy KO there. The weapon throw is going to hit Sandstorm on the top of the head. Guichibu, with a full stock advantage, going to go up a 2-0. Um, Sandstorm trying to get something going here, but Guichibu is staying out of the weapon throw and now racking up so much damage on an unarmed Sandstorm. Just now getting that scythe back in hand, taking an unarmed Guichibu off to the side, sweat beats out, catches up with the signature, bye-bye Guichibu. Stock at number one gone, but Sandstorm is a super hurt. Just to cure the second stock, another whiff recovery, Sandstorm cannot find it. Guichibu is playing so center stage, he cannot go for very many sniders, he can't. Sandstorm is struggling to find any knockout. Ooh, D-Light into neutral heavy, though. There it is. That's huge. Got himself on the board. If he can just find it with the scythe. Not enough on oh, Demon Island. No. That, that ceiling do be tall, Flaming. I mean, that ceiling do be tall. It do be tall. And Sandstorm's actually going to be able to take a game. Uchibu trying to continue here as he swaps up. Starves out. Keeps those guitars. Sandstorm not going to be able to get over to the weapon easily. Yes, sneaking in and getting the sight. Back time play on the corner. Sidelight into recovery. Sandstorm utilizing that once again. And here he goes. He's going to start it off with a Sayer, a Sandstorm. Oh, no. The knockout might be imminent here. There it is. And we are all tied up. Sandstorm might have maybe, maybe 10, 15 damage on him, but not a whole lot. Go ahead and finish it out here and take this into that predicted game number five from Flaming. He wanted it. He just might get it here. Guichibu though needs one good strength against him now in a very good position. Gravity Ooh, cancel D light. And we have a game five promo. As a Guichibu being thrown out the side here. Nice recovery. He's oh, gonna go okay. ahead and get him. Oh no, Sandstorm is absolutely cooking right now. Nice dodge from Guichibu. Oh my goodness. Able to just sneak past that gravity cancel D light and get back up on stage, but Sandstorm is not done. Tossing him out of here, and that first stop is going to fall off of Guichibu. Sandstorm sitting in orange. Not going to find it, however, he has a chance to get back to it. The guys are neutral light into recovery once again. Man. Guichibu's down to the winner's side stop before Sandstorm. Guichibu, okay, finally. He was in such a tough spot. Sandstorm, silent recovery is not going to connect just yet. Sandstorm looking for the reverse 3 0, and there it is. Sandstorm. Beautifully played on the Mordex nonetheless. Sending Apollo home at fifth, uh, but with Tesca versus Kaya. So, two, both of them playing different characters than that last one as we move into this very exciting match between Sandstorm and Impala. Hugin versus Mordex uh, to connect, but still. Holding down this neutral game very well, dashing in and out, uh, back in the corner, back in the center, just kind of smothering Impala. Impala really can't find any control on the stage and finally getting snatched away with that six. Sandstorm, the first one to strike here. Bring Sandstorm down a second stock. Still a damage deficiency. Now we're seeing a little bit more of the the sight matchup and Impala hits him with the angel tactic of just reversing a Nair off stage. 
He's always he's, he he brings a lot of hats to every single set he plays, and that's one of the things I admire about him so much as a player. Oh, hold on, hold. He might have to switch hats. <laughs> I got a feeling that playing a bit more of this game on bow as opposed to Scythe might be the hat that he needs to change to. Storm actually somehow catching the D-Sig. To avoid the hitbox activation, didn't find as big of a punish last time, oh? but great gravity cancel down light into Nair to send Impala off stage, catches the jump back attempt with a Nair okay. or Scythe Aaron. Oh, weapon toss ground pound. Storm is able to get Scythe, immediately flings Impala off stage, the dare whiffs. Storm chases him a little bit, but has to jump back to the side sig. Paula jumps around a little bit, wastes a dodge for the side sig, and Storm is able to put Impala in a bit of a tough spot right here. There was still something there, and like we said, it ain't over till it's over. Impala could be like ground pound reverse these gauntlets right here if you really, really wanted to. Sarah would have actually been a great way to take the stock. I got a feeling that no, actually, Impala is not able to maintain the speed of the game. Faltering in the ledge trap, and that's going to be Sansar back in the center. It's so close on the double side. They're not finding big strings. They're finding the one twos, but a fight. Eventually, something is going to KO, and that eventual thing is that sig from Sandstorm. To the side and you start him. Impala desperately just trying the dare actually connects. Dare's won people thousands of dollars. But remember that statement as long as you walk this earth. Unarmed Sandstorm in a bit of trouble, but the D light recovery gonna close out one of the roughest 3 0s I have had to watch in a while. That was stressful. <laughs> Meanwhile, on the other side, Radish is of course flexing Ymir's champion in the year of 2024 feel comfortable in your own bed you know what all the tv channels are you have your computer there so this is usually where he kind of ends up he ends up at home on the mornings yeah and nice. so far the scythe he has a very safe signature kit here a very comfortable signature kit this time going for the neutral light into the recovery again trying to hit another recovery but there's the falling side air from the middle of the stage he's going to strip the field and of course swap back over to the site Almost the exact same between these two. They're both kind of hopping around trying to find the opening. There's the side light from Sandstorm. The weapon toss down. And Ooh. he's just going to take it like that. Radish's Red Raptor has a lot of KO options. Of course, an amazing signature kit that just hasn't really uh, penetrated its way into Radish's play style. There's the D-Light into the side air there from Sandstorm to, to get that KO and clean that one up. Looking for these aerial hits with the Scythe, gonna work, throw his weapon up, but get punished. Radish capitalizing, beautifully forcing Sandstorm off a weapon when he thought he was gonna get a chance to starve. Nice. The unarmed side heavy actually gonna KO off the side there, just clipping off the very top of the move. I don't know if there's different variable force, depending on which one you choose, or if it's just where you send them. So if someone knows, DM me on Twitter. Who is Sparky? Because I don't read chat. Free advertising will take it, but uh, yeah, now things slowing right down. Oh, That's nice! Such a dangerous option, Sandstorm. So Rage was able to get that first stock because he got the string extension with oh, I it was like a D light into the recovery, bouncing off the stage. Chase dodge up from Sandstorm. There's a down air off the edge. The weapon toss goes low, is able to recover with the neutral signature, but still. Sandstorm's able to close it out. I do like the one that he just threw out though, because Radish knew that Sandstorm like wasn't in KO damage. So he's going to do the active input with the side air that like moves you along with your opponent rather than the one that has like the big force stump mm. as he picks up the GCD light into the recovery. Okay, after that one recover, we now know that one more recovery from Radish will take Sandstorm out. So that's that oh, side. That's he needs to capitalize that's as best it. as possible. That's just the stock. Radish here grabbing first KO. See if he can keep it up. Oh, okay, sending over the edge. Oh my gosh! Sandstorm, yeah, he should be able to get back. Of course, Radish gravity cancels the neutral signature so that he can get back. There's the GCD light, of course, using the active input this time to get the stronger hit. Yeah, now Radish keeps starting to lap Sandstorm in damage here. Side air as well, gonna disarm Sandstorm. Needs something special here to turn things around, but it's not going to happen as the game five is secured. Holy. Radish, two stock victory in game four. Seems like he's really struggling to find an opening under these all, and even though he finds that deal recovery, not going to be enough. Side now in hand, going to be struggling to KO a bit more than Gauntlet's. Finds the side there, and that will send, but... A lot of recoveries coming out, hoping to catch Radish flying high in the air. Even a clash coming out! Dude, okay. Finally. That 
That must have taken... And that's not what you want. If you're radiation and you're extending a stock, you're only extending it to get more damage, right? You're not doing it just to waste time. It's Sandstorm looking to close things out here. Gauntlet's gonna go all no the way way. the side of recovery. No Even under the lip is gonna be enough. A flawless final stock by Sandstorm to take out Radish and move on into the winner's side of Grand Finals. 3-1 oh, in Radish's favor. I know Sandstorm is, is a pretty big believer in just a, a, adaptation and not, you know, trying to be pocket picking, but ultimately negative at the end of the day. He does a good job of like keeping his in-air movement economy so that he doesn't get KO'd in orange. You, you, you get into it at this, at this level of play where everything is reaction and prediction and, and reading and Sandstorm will be able to find the stock. Uh, just, just punting it all down there looking, looking for those and Sandstorm now very heavily on the back foot here. Gets caught with a recovery and she dodges straight into it on the very last active frames. That is one of the... He did a great job on his recovery, like back over to the wall. Like you saw him jump fast fall, jump fast fall, so that he could stay low while still keeping up his momentum in the leftward direction. Over and over, stalling with the ground pound, getting his dodge back in time, letting that like okay. splash at the end that you've talked about so many different times. In grand finals, no less, absolutely fantastic. And now just racking up the damage, Sandstorm in range of being knocked out here needs to find something, but it's just getting weaved around by Radish side by side there and closes it out. Radish up 2-0. Sandstorm's on the back foot. Last time we saw Radish get a bracket reset, it was a long time ago, but we already mentioned right before this, it was a straight up 6-0. I saw him do the recovery like really far the other direction, really high on the left, and I was worried that it was gonna be curtains. Now it's curtains, neutral signature coming out from Sandstorm. He has a nice little lead here. Oh, they're just running around on top of each other. <laughs> oh, they were so stacked. That's just going it. to be it. it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Radish resets the bracket with a 3-0. Clutching it. Playing such a dangerous game with these SIGs and now struggling to find the KO. Radish once again showing. It's so hard to hold a lead over him. Finally, D-Light Cider, perfect optimization of Gauntlet's kit to find that KO. Going to get the scythe. You might have to wait for just a moment for the weapon spawn to come in. Iframes run out. Nice little side light there. And he keeps the pressure going. No way, dude. dude. No way. Hackle, no way. Brother. Oh, he oh no. That up too. I can't believe that didn't uh, make a connection there. Dude, every hit. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Sorry about that, gamers. Stream went down for just a moment. We are back live in the game right as right Radish as is going to fall. Sandstorm taking yet another game here. Yeah, and, and I mean, I, I don't blame him. After, unfortunately, the game that the chat couldn't really see, uh, he was playing it really, really well. That's a lovely D sync as well what is beyond right in front of his eyes at this very moment because it takes all of your brain power okay, okay, to okay. fight Sandstorm here in the grand finals. Dude, as he keeps it going, it. no way, dude! No way, the bird off the top. It's consistent <laughs> for him enough. And uh, despite that, Sandstorm still holding control here, but oh. does need to find the knockout. The hard side light will do it. Even if that didn't KO, Radish was in the sweat bead. So Sandstorm yes. is sitting pretty here. In a situation now where he is technically down in grand finals, his opponent is just a different beast. No pun intended as a delight into the end to come through. Sandstorm manages to claw his way back in. Once again, no pun intended, but it's really starting to pull away. He's being very safe, punishing the landing, sending Radish back over to the edge yet again. He can't recover to the main platform. He's trying so hard. And he grabs that neutral air oh. as well, continuing to strip the field. Delight over the corner. No, it's it. just the jumping side air and Sandstorm in the grand finals reset 3-1 victory over radish to confirm that he is the trial of frig champion